Whenever we plan to buy a plot, what are the first few things that we consider? We think about why we need a plot, whether it is for private use or for commercial purposes. Are we planning on farming over there or um, uh, maybe it is just a future investment, right? After considering these points, we think about the size of the plot that we might need, right? And also the affordability. Of course, we need to consider the money that we can invest in buying the plot. Only after considering all of these points and a lot more, do we finally purchase a plot, right? Similar is the case of exploratory data analysis. Hello, learners, and welcome back to Constant Learners. My name is Tasneem, and today we are discussing exploratory data analysis. In exploratory data analysis, data scientists explore the data, all right? They explore the data to analyze and summarize it before finally using it. So it is the most initial or the most basic definition of exploratory data analysis. That in exploratory data analysis, data scientists explore the data to analyze and summarize it. Now, what exactly is the meaning of analyzing? Analyzing means examining the data in detail, right? To be able to understand and interpret it. Just like before buying a plot, we were trying to understand our needs, our requirements, our resources, right? And what exactly are we summarizing here? The main characteristics of the data. Just like, uh, let's say I have decided my need is clear, my uh, affordability, like how much money I am planning to invest, that is clear, the size of the plot is clear. So now what do I have to do? I have to look at certain plots, right? So after looking at certain plots, we summarize the main advantages and disadvantages of those particular locations. Some locations could be advantages for private purposes and some locations could be good for commercial complexes. Some locations might be expensive while some may be cheaper, all right? So this is what we are doing in exploratory data analysis. We are trying to analyze the data. That is, we are trying to examine the data. We are trying to understand the data in detail. All right. And then we are summarizing the main characteristics of the data. All right. Now, let's get into the detail of what the data scientists are exploring the data for. What are they getting out of it? Right. Or what are they understanding from this data? And also, how are they using it? So exploratory data analysis helps us to understand the data, right? Now we are exploring the data to understand it. And what are we trying to understand? We are trying to understand what the data actually consists of, all right? It helps us to understand the variables of the data set. What are the variables? Let's say I have a data set about animals, all right? So some variables could be the properties of these animals, whether they are domestic or wild, whether they are herbivores, carnivores or omnivores. These could be the uh, variables of the data set and the relationship between them. All right. So exploratory data analysis helps us to understand the data, understand the variables in the data and the relationship between these variables. All right. Now, when we have understood the data, obviously, it will eventually help us to understand whether the data will be useful for us or not. Now, we know why we are using this data. We have certain goals for it. We're expecting certain answers from it, right? So after we've understood the data, we can identify whether this data will be able to answer our questions or not. OK, whether we will get the answers that we are expecting from this data or not. All right. Now, when the data has been explored, when it has been understood, when it has been studied in detail, the data scientists will definitely be able to identify the errors also and to discover the patterns within the data. Just like we said, understanding the relationship between the variables is nothing but identifying the patterns in the data set. All right. Now, once the patterns have been identified, they help the data scientists to determine the best possible way to manipulate the data sets. All right. Now, we are, uh, this complete process of data analysis is used for building models, right, in uh, analyzing the big data, right? 
uh, to for automations, right? So eventually we have to use these data sets, all right, to build and train the models. And for that, we will have to manipulate this data set. So exploratory data analysis helps the data scientists to understand the best possible way to manipulate the data sets, all right? And in this process, they also spot the anomalies and detect the outliers. Okay. Now, after all of this has been done, after the data has been understood, the variables and their relationship has been identified, whether the data will be useful or not, it has been considered, errors, anomalies, outliers have been detected. After this, the data scientists formulate a hypothesis. Now, what is a hypothesis? A hypothesis is a very initial explanation. Okay. And this initial explanation leads to further investigations. All right. And this further investigation then in turn causes new data collection and experiments. All right. So a hypothesis is very important to uh, make the stakeholders and the other audience understand the problem and the possible solutions to that problem. All right. So all of this happens in exploratory data analysis. And after all of this is done, like after the exploratory data analysis is done, what happens? Scientists plan on the model. They plan on what kind of model would be needed. They build that model and then they use the data sets to train and test the model. That is, they test the hypothesis that they have initially formulated. All right. I hope that this much was clear until now. If there's any confusion, you can write it in the comments section. All right. Now, in a previous video, when we discussed data analysis, I will link that video in the description. Uh, when we discussed the phases of data analysis, uh, we saw that exploratory data analysis was a part or a step in data analysis. So we can say that exploratory data analysis is a part of data analysis, all right? And it uses statistical graphics and other data visualization techniques. Statistical graphics or data visualization technique means what? Maybe it uses pie charts, bar graphs, histograms, etc. All right, to visualize the data. So we can say that exploratory data analysis helps us to see or visualize what data can tell us. All right, I hope that this was clear. Now let's get to the classification of exploratory data analysis. But, be uh, but before continuing, I'd like to request you to please watch the video till the end because before ending the video, we're going to have a quick explanation in Hindi also for our own understanding. All right. Now, exploratory data analysis is classified into two categories, univariate EDA and multivariate EDA. Univariate, of course, deals with single variable and multivariate deals with two or more variables and displays the relationship between them, all right? These can further be classified as graphical univariate, non-graphical univariate, graphical multivariate, non-graphical multivariate. If you need a detailed explanation of these types, let me know in the comment section. I'll make a separate video for that, all right? So this brings us to our second or an important definition of exploratory data analysis, which is Exploratory data analysis refers to the initial investigations that we perform on data, all right? This is an initial step, okay? Initial investigations that we perform on data, trying to gather as many insights from data as we can and trying to make sense of the data before actually using it, all right? And all of this with the help of either graphical representations or summary statistics, all right? I hope that this was clear. We've already discussed all of this, right? Now, the most common tools used to create exploratory data analysis are R and Python, okay? R language is an open source programming language and it provides a free software environment for statistical computing and graphics, all right? Now, if you don't understand all of this, don't worry. We are going to have a separate video on features of R uh, because that is a very common question with university examination point of view. So I'm going to explain all of this in detail in that video. But here, it's important to understand that 
R is very useful or very widely used in statistics to develop statistical observations and data analysis. And this is what we require in exploratory data analysis. In exploratory data analysis, we need a visual representation of data and that we can get with the help of R language. All right. And Python is an interpreted object oriented programming language with dynamic semantics. And thus, Python is very extensively used with exploratory data analysis to spot the missing values in the data set. All right. I hope that all of this was totally clear. Now, let's quickly take a uh, Hindi explanation of what exploratory data analysis is and how it exactly works. Exploratory data analysis se kya hota hai? Usse hume data ko samajhne ki possibility hoti hai, right? Hum data ko samajh paate hai ki us data mein actually hai kya. Aur uske kya variables hai? Aur un variables ka kya relationship hai? Thik hai? Isse hum samajh paate hai exploratory data analysis se. Variables kya ho sakte hai? Jaise, uh, suppose logo ke baare mein kuch data set hai, right? Aur usme variables ho sakte hai height and weight of people, right? Aur age and gender of the people. So, kuch bhi variables ho sakte hai aur unke beech mein kuch bhi relationship ho sakta hai. Usse hum exploratory data analysis ki madad se samaj sakte hai. Thik hai? Phir jab hum data ko study karte hai, toh hume pata chalata hai ki wo data humare kuch kaam aane wala hai bhi ya nahi. Hum jo answers ya jo outcomes hum usse expect kar rahe hai, usme wo outcomes dene ki uh, possibility hai ya nahi. Right? Ab jab hum data ko pura study karte hai, toh obviously hume usse उसमें जो भी एरर्स है वो भी हमें पता चल जाते हैं और हम उससे पैटर्न्स भी डिस्कवर कर सकते हैं कि आ, किस तरह का पैटर्न उसमें फॉलो हो रहा है किस तरह के वेरिएबल्स हैं और वेरिएबल्स का क्या रिश्ता है उनके आपस में क्या आ, किस तरह की पैटर्न्स हैं उनके बीच में तो वो हम डिस्कवर कर सकते हैं विद एक्सप्लोरेटरी डेटा एनालिसिस अब जब हमें डेटा के बारे में इतना कुछ पता चल जाता है तो हमें ये भी पता चल जाता है कि आगे जब हम इस डेटा को मॉडल बिल्डिंग में यूज करेंगे तो हम किस तरह से उस डेटा को मैनिपुलेट करना चाहिए ताकि हमें बेस्ट पॉसिबल आउटकम मिल सके कौन सा तरीका बेस्ट होगा उस डेटा को मैनिपुलेट करने का उस डेटा को यूज करने का ठीक है अब जब इतना कुछ होगा तो हम उस डेटा में एनोमलीज और आउटलायर्स को भी डिटेक्ट कर सकते हैं आउटलायर्स मतलब क्या कुछ ऐसी चीजें जो वहां बिलोंग ही नहीं करती राइट अगर कोई डेटा एनिमल्स के बारे में है तो उसमें अगर बर्थ से रिलेटेड कोई इंफॉर्मेशन होगा तो वो वहां बिलोंग ही नहीं करती इट इज एन आउटलायर या फिर कानी वोस का इंफॉर्मेशन अगर हर भी वोस में दिया है तो दैट विल बी एन आउटलायर ऑलराइट तो दैट इज एन आउटलायर ओके व्हेन अब जब डेटा के बारे में हमें इतना कुछ पता चल जाता है तो हम क्या कर सकते हैं एक हाइपोथेसिस को बना सकते हैं एक हाइपोथेसिस मतलब क्या होता है एक इन्वेस्टिगेशन होता है जिसका रिपोर्ट हम बना सकते हैं एक इनिशियल एक्सप्लेनेशन होता है ठीक है अब जब ये इनिशियल रिपोर्ट बनेगा इनिशियल एक्सप्लेनेशन बनेगा तो फिर अब उससे क्या होगा और ज्यादा नया डेटा कलेक्ट होगा और ज्यादा एक्सपेरिमेंट्स होंगे ठीक है ये सब कुछ आता है एक्सप्लोरेटरी डेटा एनालिसिस के अंदर और जब एक्सप्लोरेटरी डेटा एनालिसिस हो जाता है उसके बाद साइंटिस्ट डिसाइड करते हैं कि आ, हमें किस तरह का मॉडल बिल्ड करना है कौन सा मॉडल इसके लिए सूटेबल होगा उसे कैसे बिल्ड करेंगे वगैरह वगैरह ओके एंड ऑल ऑफ दिस वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन डेटा एनालिसिस लाइफ साइकिल वीडियो व्हिच विल बी कमिंग वेरी सून सो स्टे ट्यून्ड इफ यू वांट टू वॉच दैट इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो प्लीज गिव इट अ थम्स अप subscribe to the channel and thank you so much for watching